this is Aaron 312 and welcome to a quick video I've been meaning to do for a little while actually. Um, and this just came to mind recently, especially after a certain update some time ago. Um, I've been working on some pretty big stuff recently and you'll see one of which in a second. This is actually part of it. I'm just sitting in its hanger bay. But I don't know what it's like for a lot of other, pit pit build, a lot of other builders, especially if you're in survival. But man, big, sh big ships can take a long time to build. Of course, I'm a creative builder, but even then, some things can take days, maybe even weeks to properly complete. And this ship itself isn't technically complete, but I just wanted to share with you a quick technique I developed to help you build the bulk of your ship because it can it can be really hard to build a ship completely from scratch, going one block at a time and so on and so forth. So today I'm going to show you how to make the bulk of your ship using model importation using SE Toolbox. First, download the latest version of SE Toolbox on Keen's GitHub. Make sure it's updated or it will not work. Second, you'll need your model. Now you can use Space Engineers itself to make a base. I can also download an existing model off the internet or make one myself in some other program. You can, as long as you have a three-dimensional object file, you can import it. As you see here, though, I'm going to use the Space Engineers method and I'm going for this Punic class supercarrier design created by the Sins of the Prophets modding team. I built it with small blocks based on the pictures of the model they used and got it pretty close to what I want. Press Ctrl Alt E facing the object you want to export and it will export an OBJ of your object into a folder on your desktop. You can then move in your downloads or wherever you'll whatever, put it wherever you'll easily find it. Next, you'll have to install SE Toolbox if you haven't already, run it, and then go to open. This is where you'll choose the destination of your imported object. Keep in mind you want an empty world and not one with a lot of unsaved or important objects because chances are the object can maybe get imported on top of another and then clang ensues and no amount of sacrifice will stop it. Once the world file opens, you go to import and then 3D model. Click on the folder symbol, go to the folder where your model is, and double click on the three-dimensional file you want to import. This method of building is actually quite helpful when building a scaled model. In my case, I want to make a one-tenth of a size Punic class. The Canon version is about 4,000 meters, so it will be 400 meters long or 160 large blocks long which I can put in this box here. You can also use the options here to select if you want the import to be made of heavy armor, small grid, thicker shell, whatever. In this case, I just go with the simplest option, large grid, light armor. Click create, and then save the world file. You can now run SE and go open your world file. So as you'll see here, we've gone from this little thing I made to this. As you can imagine, looking at it, it is incredibly basic. It's, I don't know how the game calculates some of these shapes, but from here, you can refine it, shape it, sculpt it, and make it functional, whatever according to your design. So we started with this, which became this, which of course became this beauty. I think it turned out spectacularly well, and obviously if you look back on what this thing used to be, Oh yeah, it comes a long way, and I was able to build this, I mean, at least get it almost completely functional within about two to three days. Building this from scratch would have taken me a hell of a lot longer. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, in addition to being a machine, I am also a fellow space engineer, and I love to give tips where I can. I find this building method, I mean, if you're a lot, if you're not very patient like me, I mean, I have built plenty of builds to from scratch like a lot of my smaller cruisers are pretty much all from scratch my leopard class battleship uh, the cns class assault carrier which did really well on the workshop was actually built 100 percent from scratch so yeah i hope you found this little tutorial helpful like subscribe comment below what you would like to see in space engineers next and i'll see you guys next time hey psst, did you know halloween's coming up yeah i forgot about that too can you guys give me suggestions on what you would like to see on Halloween? Woo!